on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the New York Giants and the Washington Commanders, next on Madden Football. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome, as we come to you from Commander's Field here in Landover, Maryland. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go in our nation's capital. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete in the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in a position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Throwing now is Daniels. And that's going to be incomplete. But man, his first throw, that nearly went the other way. Instead, it's fourth down. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. First go on offense for the Giants under the guidance of Daniel Jones, the former Duke Blue Devil. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where only played in six games, going one and five over that span with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Throwing Jones. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Now Jones. 
He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. They'll run on first down with Singletary. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Back to throw. Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Here's Daniels. Got a man. It's Deami Brown complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The rookie from LSU leading this offense well. A good throw there leads to a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now Daniels. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 38-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. To throw is Daniels. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Now a second and ten. Daniels looking to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 
Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And Eckler will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack. Going to stop him short of the first down. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. York able to send this one through, and the Commanders get out to a 3-0 lead. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. First down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Second and ten. Back to throw. Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now third down and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. I oh, had a man but he missed him and it's incomplete so many times we talk about coverage we're just about a defender running with a receiver but a big part of it is understanding where the football is finding it in this case when it arrived it wasn't a surprise and he was able to bat it away on fourth down here's Jamie Gillen on to punt fair catch called for and taken right near the 30 yard line 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air goes Daniels. Incomplete. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Here's second and ten. Now a toss, running left, Eckler. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
but you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return, and it'll be giant football first and ten. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and ten. Back to throw. Jones firing quickly here, and that's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area, and after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try option left. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over, but backed up deep in their own territory. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 17, here's second and four. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations.
Running on first down, Eckler. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Second down and four. Working out of the gun, Daniels. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Nice grab there by McLaurin. That's something we've grown accustomed to seeing. He's racked up at least 77 receptions in each of his last four seasons, and he's someone their young quarterback, Jaden Daniels, will lean on as he goes through his maturation process. Eckler now between the tackles. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. It's Eckler again. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Play action, now it's Daniels. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Looking to throw, Daniels. <laughs> And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. And Burns has found a new home with the Giants this offseason. He's thrilled to be in the metropolitan area. The guy they call the Spider-Man nets another sack. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. Back to throw, Jones. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Two yards still to go, third down now. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. 
But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive ends right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. The commander's offense returning to the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. But it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to report. Give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Daniels from the gun on third down. That is caught. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Tried for the tight end. Ertz, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. They brought the house that time on a young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. And New York set to take the field. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing to start the drive, Jones. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A promising sign there from an offense that hasn't done a whole lot to this point. Nice job to locate the open receiver. And it's good yardage and a first down to open the drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Pass is caught by Wondell Robinson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. 
And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The touch and time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Washington going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here now, second and four. Operating from the gun, Daniels. He'll get this to Eckler. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll look to throw here on first down. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Brian Burns. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So we've reached halftime at a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. 
Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. The third quarter starts with a run by Singletary. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 33, here's second down and seven. They go right back to Singletary. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. On the handoff, running left, Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. First possession of the second half now for Washington. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take? to get back on track. Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Well, they go play action. Daniels slings this deep from McLaurin. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw. Daniels. 
Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Off the play fake, Daniels. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Up the middle with Eckler. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. De'Ami Brown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And Washington has taken the lead. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Now Cade York for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 to now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's Deami Brown who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Start out here with the option left. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, They'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Rush coming, and he's taken down. 
They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Throwing Jones. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And the Washington offense heading out. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Throwing now is Daniels. He's got Austin Eckler on the slant. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And possession switching back to the New York Giants, and they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Now 
This offense so far on third down, just one conversion in eight tries. Not good. This will be third and five. Now Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll look to throw now on first down. He'll hit his man on the bubble screen, complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Jones completing it to the right side. Johnson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 43. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's second and five now from the 37. Singletary again. And he'll take this one down to the 36. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on 2nd and 15. Looking to throw, Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll make it third and 13. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Off the play fake. Jones. Again, it's Johnson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short, and that leads to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. 
The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run. But you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Crowder in motion here right. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. They get 17 there, good for a commander's first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Brown goes in motion left. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Dexter Lawrence able to get outside the numbers and drop him for a loss of a yard. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So now Jones and the Giants trailing 10-3. A minute 55 remaining. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Now Jones. Into the hands of Singletary. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Here's a second and seven. To throw is Jones. Connecting with Johnson. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Jones. Incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. 
because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Jones. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Jones. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Jones looking around. That's caught by Johnson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. This is first and ten. Here's Jones to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Now Jones. Wide open receiver complete. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Here's first down. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. But you have to expect in this situation that the defense is going to be playing the perimeter. They don't want any easy passes out there where someone can grab it and step out of bounds. So that was excellent work there to force the incompletion. Again from the 15, second and 10. They'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Back to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Commanders have just about sewn up this football game. A fourth down, they felt compelled to go for it, and he throws the INT. Yeah, he knows that you can't take a sack there, so he had to try and force one in. Now, this might not be a throw he makes if we're in the second quarter, but he had to take the chance there, and this one wound up being intercepted.
Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, to play their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.